Hey guys, I'm back here with another Blu-ray update for you all. I know it's been forever since I've done one of these, but I've just been having a lot of stuff that's been going on this um, last couple of months or so, but yeah, I have quite a few here. This is going to be two parts, definitely. Uh, maybe three, I don't know yet, but yeah, um, I have about 14 here to show you, and so let's get started. The uh, first one that I got is one of my favorite movies from last year, and it is Tangled. And uh, this is the Blu-ray 3D version. Uh, I don't have a Blu-ray 3D player, but the reason I got the Blu-ray 3D copy was because I had this coupon for this version. And after us using that coupon, it pretty much came out to the same exact price as the other Blu-ray copy, and I figured, you know... I might as well just go ahead and get the 3D copy because I'm sure one day down the road I'm going to want to <clears throat> get a 3D Blu-ray player, so I figured why not. So I got the 3D version, which it does have the regular Blu-ray as well. But yeah, this is a very, very cute movie. It's a story about Rapunzel, and uh, in this movie Rapunzel has these uh, special... Um, healing powers and she has this evil mother who is pretty much keeping her locked up in a tower and is keeping her hostage just just so that she can use her uh, healing powers for herself and so uh, she eventually meets this prince and you know of course they end up falling in love and she convinces him to take her out to see these um, lanterns that are lit every single year on her birthday so that she can see what they are and then like of course as they're going out to uh, see these lanterns they end up getting closer and closer as the movie progresses and it's a very very good and cute movie I definitely highly recommend it and I'll show you what it looks like so um you've got the blu-ray 3d right here and then you've got the regular Blu-ray copy, which is what I watched. And you've got the DVD and then digital copy right there. So there's Tangled. Very good movie. I would definitely highly recommend it. And next up I got another Disney movie. And it is Bambi. <clears throat> we pretty much all know the story of Bambi. Uh it was one of my favorites as a kid. I hadn't seen it in several years until I actually bought it. And, uh, yeah, um, it actually was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, you know, watching it so many years later. Because, honestly, I wasn't sure, like, if I was going to like it that much now. But it was actually, I thought, a very good movie watching it now so many years later. But, yeah, we all know the story of Bambi. It's about this, uh deer named Bambi and his mother gets killed and uh, it's basically him like uh, trying to survive afterwards uh, that's pretty much all I can say about it but yeah it's a very very good Disney movie uh, I was uh, surprised actually at how um, emotionally disturbing that it was at times like you know with uh, animals getting killed and things like that I mean, knowing that it actually happens, it kind of makes you depressed while watching it. But it is a very good movie. Um, I'm sure you've all seen it by now, but if not, I would definitely recommend it. And then we've got the Blu-ray and then the DVD, I think, right there. Or maybe it's a digital copy, I'm not for sure. But... There's Bambi. <clears throat> and I think that's pretty much it for the Disney movies. But the next one I have to show you here is The Fighter with uh, Christian Bale and Mark Wahlberg. Uh, I think this actually has to be pretty much my favorite of the year. Uh, I know a lot of people wouldn't choose this one, but I do personally. This is a very, very good movie. It's about this uh, guy who's a wrestler and you know a lot of people look down on him they don't think he's very good and so his brother is training him 
and his brother was also a wrestler. And throughout the movie, he's basically trying to uh, be a better wrestler, you know, you know, get the best training he can get to be a better wrestler. And then eventually he uh, ends up competing for the championship. And uh, it's just basically how he changes throughout the movie, you know, as a fighter and like as a person as well. And, you know, all the all the things that happen, that's that's pretty much all I can that, that's pretty much how I can describe it, but very, very good movie. Uh, definitely, I would, I would say my favorite of the year, even though, like I said, a lot of people wouldn't consider it their favorite, but personally, I do, so yeah, I would highly recommend this one as well. And then there's the Blu-ray. And uh, this next one that I got, you probably wouldn't expect me to get this, but I got Michael Jackson's This Is It. This is one I've always wanted to see, but like kept putting it off. And uh, I eventually found this for $10, and I figured, you know, why not? I might as well get it. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest, like, before I, before I watched this movie, I wasn't the biggest Michael Jackson fan. I mean, I liked uh, some of his music, but I wasn't, like, obsessed or anything. But, uh, to be honest with you, after watching this movie, it's really, really changed my opinion of him, you know, about his music and everything. Uh, I actually enjoyed this movie a lot better than I thought I would. I thought that I would be bored throughout, but honestly, it was a very, very enjoyable movie. Uh, pretty much all it is is just... Um, it's just a documentary. It shows just a bunch of rehearsals that he does for his upcoming concert that he was going to do before he passed away. And, uh, yeah, it was very, very enjoyable. You know, a lot of the songs that I did know from him I enjoyed listening to while uh, watching the movie. And I also ended up discovering a lot of his songs that I had never heard before while watching this. But... Yeah, this was, like I said, this was a very good movie. I was definitely very pleasantly surprised by it, and pretty much ever since then, I found myself not being able to stop listening to his music at times. You know, like, all of a sudden, I'll get in a mood to listen to one of his songs, and then once I start listening to him, I just can't stop listening to him for, like, an hour. You know, I'll just, I'll just start listening to more songs and more songs, and so on and so forth. And, uh, yeah, I just, you know, it really kind of disappoints me how I didn't even know a thing about his music until he passed away. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, to be honest, but, yeah, I, I like I said, I definitely did very enjoy, enjoy this movie very much. And, uh, I think that, uh, others need to give it a chance if they haven't already. So, yeah, this is a very good documentary. And then there's the disc inside. And the next one I got, this is one of my favorite movies. It is Rain Man. Uh, I got this on Blu-ray because it was cheap. And, uh, yeah, um, this is a Best Picture winner, and I definitely do think that it deserved it. But, yeah, this is basically about this uh, guy named Charlie who's played by Tom Cruise and his uh, father passes away and he ends up finding out that he has an older brother named Raymond who's played by Dustin Hoffman and uh, Raymond is really really autistic and he's in a mental institution and uh, come to find out his brother Raymond was left with like three million dollars and uh Charlie feels like he's entitled to some of that money, and so basically he uh, kidnaps Raymond from the institution, and he's driving him all the way across the country, and it's pretty much like holding him hostage until he can get his half of the money. And then, you know, uh, pretty much at the beginning, all he cares about is just getting the money, but as the movie progresses, they start to grow closer and closer, and he ends up having these... Uh, strong feelings for his brother, and, uh, you know, his brother drives him crazy throughout the entire movie with his, uh, you know, his mental problems and stuff, but 
It's just a really, really good, heartwarming movie. Uh, very funny at times as well. And uh, it's just all of... Uh, uh, I can't talk. Uh, what I was trying to say is, um, you know, just overall, it's really a perfect movie. Uh, I would definitely highly recommend that you watch this. Uh, it's one of those movies where you don't think it's going to be very good, but then it turns out to be really, really good. And that's definitely why I recommend it, because, I mean, I know the plot doesn't sound that good, but trust me, once you watch it, you'll really, really enjoy it. So, yeah, there's Rain Man. And it looked good on Blu-ray as well. Um, I wasn't expecting it to, but it actually did, so definitely pick it up on Blu-ray. And the next one that I got, this was a blind buy, and it is Apocalypse Now. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really not sure what I think about this movie. Uh, I did watch it the day that I got it. And the thing is, like, parts of it I liked and parts of it I didn't like. Uh, um, I think I'll say that I liked the movie. I'm not going to say it was just okay. I thought it was a little bit better than that. But, yeah, like I said, uh, parts of it I liked, parts of it I didn't. Uh, it's pretty much about this, uh, guy who was in the Vietnam War, and they hire him to, uh, go back to Vietnam and to assassinate this, um, leader of this tribe, and, uh, it's basically, like, just about the whole entire journey to, uh, find this guy so that he can, uh, uh, do his mission. And, yeah, parts of it I enjoyed, and then other parts of it I just didn't really get that much. But, overall, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I think I need to just watch it again, though. I think that if I watch it again, I'll definitely like it a lot better, so. Yeah, there's Apocalypse Now. It's a two-disc edition. But... Yeah, I did thoroughly enjoy this movie, and I definitely do need to watch it again, which I will. Um, I don't think, however, that it's, like, one of the best movies ever made, like pretty much everybody else thinks, but, yeah, those are just my opinions on this movie. So there's that one. And the last one I have to show you in this update is The Road, which I have not seen yet. I really apologize, but I picked this up because it was cheap, and, uh... From what I've heard, it's like about um, these uh, two people that two people that are trying to survive after this big um, casualty that happens, something like that. I really don't know, but if any of you have seen this movie, please let me know what you think of it because I would be really interested to know what you think of it. So there's the road. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry. I can't really give you more of an explanation on this movie, but uh, it does sound like a very good movie, and I definitely will be watching it soon, if I can get it open. And then you have the Blu-ray. So, um, yeah, that does it for the first part of my update, and I'll be back before long with part two.